There are so many filters available to Photoshop users, it would be impossible to demonstrate all of them. Combining them with other filters, layer blending modes, layer masks, and adjustment layers would result in endless possibilities. Whitney and I have put together a few examples to demonstrate some of the vast possibilities of what filters can be used to create in Photoshop. This first example is a combo application of the dry brush and fresco filters. Both can be found in the filter gallery. When both the fresco and dry brush filters are applied to this image, the result is a dark, muddy mess. But that doesn't mean they can't be used in combination to create something with a pleasing result. After the filter was applied, we used the Blending Options dialog box to lower the opacity of the change. The example on the left was lowered to about 42%, while the example on the right was lowered to 26%. The result on the right is much more pleasing than the original dark, muddy result we saw on the previous slide. So I can show you this, and we just have the same image pulled up here, and um, we have the filters applied to a smart object. So if I double click here, I can show you um, that we have both the dry brush and fresco um, filters applied. And they're both just set on the, on the default settings. And if you see here, we can turn these options on and off to see um, the individual effects. But with them both applied, Again, there's that kind of muddy mess. So with that, um, right over here, these are the blending modes and opacity. So if I launch this dialog box, um, I can change the opacity here and change to about 40. You can see, it, see it's still very stylized, but then when you get down to 20, it's just a real, real subtle change. Then it just um, kind of gives it just that unique look. Um, and that is how you apply that.